Hey everybody and welcome back. Today I have my friend Shanae in the chair, one of my favorite clients and friends. And she is here to just see what's going on with her hair. She hasn't had it blown out in a while. She's been wearing her natural curls and she just needs to check in on it, you know, for annually. I haven't seen her in a chair in a long time. She's been really rocking with her curls for a minute. So I can't wait to see what her hair has got going on. Now, I know I say this in every single video, but when you are blow drying, just make sure you are being as gentle as possible, okay? It is imperative, you know? You can't be rough with your hair, especially while it's wet, because that's when you will get the most breakage. So just be very, very gentle, be very careful, and just treat your hair very delicately, because it is. So I know a lot of people say that they've missed seeing the blow dry phase done on the channel. Some people love the blow, blow dry, some people don't. But the purpose of me showing you guys the blow dry today is because I want you to see the texture of Sinead's hair right before I introduce you guys to this new tool that I um, have been working with and I absolutely love it. And y'all know I won't bring anything to my page if it's not absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so I got something for y'all today, a little treat. Now, although we got Sinead's hair pretty straight with the blow dryer today, her ends, it was hard to get her ends to blow out as straight as the rest of her hair. And that's because her hair is not trained. I'm doing air quotes when I say trained, just because it's trained to be curly, but it's not trained to stay straight. Um, like I told you guys, it's been two years since I wore heat. And when I got my hair blown out, every time I went to the next section, the section that just got blown out, puffed up. So my purpose of mentioning that is the chase method just got easier. Yes, this is the grip comb. The grip comb comes with a clean and wipe, preparation wipes, all you have to do is clean the surface of your flat iron just like that easy right then you're going to take the grip comb out of its wrapping you rip the protective shield off of the adhesive and you just lay it on your iron like so now i am going to start by pressing sinead's edges with the hot comb I got me a good old seasoned gangster hot comb, okay? I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear why it looked like that. It looked like that because that's the only way it works is if your, if your hot comb looks like this. She has really long sideburns and I do not play. I am going to get every single hair. Every single hair is getting laid out. Now let's talk about the chase method. Now, originally this is the chase method is whenever you see me put my comb up under the section of hair that I'm about to press and then follow it with the flat iron, that is the chase method. The purpose of the chase method is to prevent kinks or bends from being crushed into the hair between the two hot plates and in turn leading to another pass or two to get it straight. And y'all know how I feel about one pass. The grip comb gets every single strand of hair into alignment the very first time to avoid all of that. Now, as you see, I can still get just as close to the scalp as I could without the grip comb attached to my iron. Everything is straight from root to end and look how straight the ends get. It's just like the chase method, but way less work.
if you just look at the hair that's been pressed versus the hair that's still waiting to be pressed look at the comparison it's absolutely amazing The whole time I was trying to get used to it so much because I just kept on wanting to put my comb under each section. And I'm like, oh, no, you don't need that anymore. I didn't even know what to do with my left hand anymore. So I just started holding the cool tip on our 22 Titania flat iron just to have something to do. See how smooth that is? One pass. It's already done. So a lot of questions, I got a lot of questions when I posted this on my Instagram and a lot of people was like, well, do I need a separate iron to curl? No, I've been curling with the grip comb all week, the week before. <laughs> I couldn't believe it when I was curling. I said, oh, I could curl too. I could feather too. That's clutch. I have not taken this thing off. I've been using it for weeks and I absolutely love it. Now, this has been out for a while and I've been wanting to try it so bad. And the only reason I didn't grab it sooner is because it's more recommended to use on a flatter surface iron and mine is not only curved, but it has warm outer plates. But it absolutely works for my iron too. So it's able to get super close to the roots, like I said, without fault and it doesn't snag or pull the hair. Like her hair is just coming out flawlessly straight. As you can see here, Sinead's ends are bad. It's been a while since she had a trim. And whoever wears your hair curly out there, I know you know this for a fact. When you get a trim, your curls be curling, okay? They, they boing right back up real cute after you get those ends off. Because the shabbiness, it just takes away from the curls. So I can't wait to see her hair curly after this. And although Sinead's ends look like this, her hair is in immaculate shape. You know, once that trim is going on, she's going to be good. It's smooth. It's healthy. The shine is already in there. I used our first class to Morocco shampoo and condition to give her a lot more hydration. And you can already see that natural shine just from how she takes care of it. And then our shampoo and conditioner on top of that with the heat protectant so I'll make sure I leave links for all of these things below as well just to make sure that you get to it all my curly girls that watch this channel do you get an annual trim do, I mean an annual press do you press it at all have you just stayed away from heat for years let me know in the comments I want to hear from you um other girls who aren't curly girls talk to me too like why aren't you going curly are you scared is the process too long because baby i know the process be long that in between phase be a lot sometimes so i get it i've had a lot of curly girls come here to me lately just like i want to press my hair out i want to look at it i'm getting bored with my curls and that happens sometimes you know my biggest thing is it's okay to have options as long as you do it the healthy way so i think it's also because the seasons are starting to change too so a lot of times when the seasons change i notice people want a little change even if it's just for a little while you know and then it's no really no point of getting your hair pressed out when it's hot because we all know what's going to happen then now the reason that i always say just do one pass is because that's all you need you guys watch me do one pass all the time and you don't need to do more than that ever so if you're ever in a stylish chair and not dis not in a disrespectful way but stand up for yourself be like hey you know i really would appreciate if you could just do one pass i just rather have as less heat on my hair as possible or if you're at home, same thing. Talk to yourself like that. You know what? Let me just do one pass and do my hair the healthiest way possible. If I'm going to be a heat girl or if I'm going to do a heat style, make sure that you're doing it in the healthy way. So think about it. Even if your iron is turned down all the way to 300, now you might need to go a little higher than 300 if you're doing one pass. But even if it's at 400, every time you go over that section of hair, you're just doubling and tripling the amount of heat. Four, eight, 1200 degrees on one section of hair, and that's way too much. Also, if you're 
if you wear heat all the time. People always ask me how often I think they should get heat. And I always say every three to four weeks if you just get your hair done all the time. I know that sounds like a stretch. You know, when I was in high school, I was getting my hair done every two weeks or I was doing my hair every two weeks. And so I get just wanting your hair done again, but it's also good to have that resting phase. I truly believe in the resting phase. When your hair gets old, don't take a flat iron to it and press it back out. Just put it in a ponytail, wear a hat, do whatever you can to not put heat in it again. I'm just taking a bristle brush here and brushing these edges down and her sideburns. See how full and thick they are they are so serious <laughs> now this is like no hair left behind you're getting brushed and laid down just like the edges um now we're just going in with the next section just showing you how that grip comb is straightening out those ends see how those ends look in comparison bam so what do y'all think about the grip comb so far like is it something that you'd be interested in? I was thinking, even though like as a hairstylist, you do hair all day and you just do the chase method. Yes, it's a lot of work, a lot of concentration just into it. But at home, being a person at home who does your hair, it just helps so much. It just helps with the process. Cause I know doing your own hair with the chase method is way harder than doing somebody else's hair. So I was like, this is definitely clutch for the at home girls. Oh, and you too, fellas. My bad. I <laughs> I did not mean to leave y'all out. You know, I usually be like, girls and guys, you know, because I don't want to leave y'all out. I know there's, there's a few guys that watch the channel. You know, Deeper Than Hair TV is 3% men watch the channel. So, girls, say hi to the guys. They here. It's a few of them that watch. <laughs> so, so, my bad. My bad, fellas. So now that it's all silky and smooth, it's time to check it out for the trim. Now her hair grew so much since the last time I saw her, but we do have to take a little bit of this off. It's not bad though, especially for the length of time that I haven't seen her, it's definitely not bad. So I pulled out our steady cutting collar to help guide me through this haircut. Well, this trim, cause it's not really a haircut. It's just about two inches, not even and getting those bad ends off. I know this is super random and I also know that I asked y'all this pretty randomly. Um, but can y'all recommend me some TV shows and movies to watch? Like now that the writer's strike and the actor's strike is going on, I'm definitely going to need to reach back a little bit and watch some stuff. Right now I'm re-watching Orange is the New Black. Oh my God, such a great show. But um, can y'all recommend me some stuff in the comments, please? I need some um, things to watch while I edit for y'all. Now I'm just doing around the sides. I did the front off camera. I'm gonna start doing the front more on camera. I just be trying. Some clients I just don't wanna like overexpose them too much. Listen, we turned the lights out for y'all so we could put the glass on. <laughs> we turned the lights out so it could just look dramatic. Look at the drama. Look how good the ends are. Everything is just, the ends brought it all together per usual, um, but I just want to say to everybody, thank you so much for watching. Whatever link, whatever I talked about today will be linked below and tell a friend. I will see y'all next time. Bye.